So uh, let me start off then by inviting our keynote speaker. His name is Tonderai Katsande, aka TK the Big Dog. Now, TK, TK has been in radio, broadcasting, and media for decades in South Africa and in Zimbabwe. If there's anyone who knows radio, it's TK. And he's seen musicians come and go. He's seen the best and he's seen the worst. So uh, I think let's all give our attention to TK. He's just going to introduce, speak about the role of radio, and then we can also, uh, we'll leave the questions for the panel afterwards. But for now, uh, please to invite TK to speak on the theme, music as a business, what, do, what role does radio play? Thank you, TK. Can I sit, hey guys, I just stood up to show that I respect you guys, but can, can we sit down and, you know, you guys look so comfortable. So I'd like, a camera, is that okay? I know you guys are recording, we want to make sure we get everything right. Good afternoon, everyone, how you doing? Nice. Uh, uh, I'm here to talk about making a radio hit, but I think that's, I'd like to rephrase that because I think there's a lot of hit makers in this house. I'm not qualified to talk about uh, 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 making uh, of a radio hit. But uh, what I'd like to do is maybe give a bit of a background in terms of the psych of radio, what goes on, on uh, for example, if I'm quite personal about it, on my show, like uh, the show that I do in the morning, I do a breakfast show on ZFM Stereo. It's weekdays, uh, uh, and uh, just to put it out there, one of the things we say at ZFM Stereo is <clears throat> uh, we don't count the people we reach. We reach the people that count. Who are the people that count? That will be the question, but we'll get through to that just now. So uh, one has to understand the making of radio. I'm just going to try, because I can't talk to you about music, but I can talk to you about radio. So I want to help you understand the business of radio so that the next time you're making a song, you kind of think, I hope, I hope this helps you in terms of getting it into fit into radio. I have no doubt that there are a lot of spaces, a lot of platforms where people are getting exposure. Some of it is big hits that are measurable, that you can go and log on and you can see this is the kind of numbers, this is the kind of traffic, the kind of figures that we have at the moment in terms of ZAMPs, the annual media uh, uh, measurements and surveys, uh, they are samples that are done. I don't know if anyone has, has anyone ever participated in any of those here? Just out of curiosity. Has anyone been topped on the road and been told, hey, how are you doing? Would you like some Aputi and some Azoe? We we'll just ask you a few questions and then you answer yes, no, two hours. Well, I assume this is how they do it. But anyway, uh, until we have places and platforms where we can actually offer numbers. If I go to Takura's official Twitter handle, I can go there, I can see he's got 25,000 or 250,000 uh, people that are following him. I can then go and look at who's following him, put faces who's where, you know, and try and formulate something from there. In radio, it's kind of different. You know, we are told these guys have got so many numbers and so forth. Maybe it's true, maybe it's not. So having done that, once the radio has decided now that uh, this is who we are and this is what our DNA is going to be, we've got Radio Zimbabwe, we've got, it's now called Classic 263, we have Power FM, Shout Out Butterfly, we have Star FM and uh, Capital, it's one here. And you see, those different radio stations have a different vibe about them, okay? If you bring us... A 15 minute to save a song at ZFM stereo and you expect to hear that on breakfast I'll tell you straight up it's not gonna happen we don't have 15 minutes in fact 15 minutes is a lifetime on breakfast okay so you gotta understand those little uh, uh, dynamics they're little but they make a huge difference so ZFM stereo we are a top 40 format and I'm sure Captain Opsom is gonna cover on that because he does our music that means we're going for a certain category a certain target market which in our heads is somewhere between 16 or 18 and 35 with a core of probably 27 she's female she's probably a single mom she's probably got a daughter and a son one in Oxcoro so we start breaking down those things from a business point of view and then from there we have to formulate this person are they the profitable target market for a radio station because there's one thing you can do uh, a station that broadcasts to a different community whatever community that might be but as a business that is operating for profit and for business we have to pick the most profitable position and also at the same time and have a responsibility of uh, uh, of, 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 of having an agenda of pushing the Zimbabwean agenda within uh, the radio station so 
top 40 18 to 35 she's 22 so from there we then decide what would she like to listen to at what time of the day who is she with if we play music that's good tee, 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 even if it insinuates that are we comfortable playing that for a six-year-old who's going to school and no doubt with uh, a whole lot of us sitting here we would agree that music today is almost soft porn well maybe not all of it but 99 percent of it is soft porn i have daughters uh and i kind of worry like oh, okay Ch chocolate banana yeah simba tags you <laughs> always good chocolate Rainbow. banana mm. yeah so imagine i walk into my uh into the lounge i see my seven year old daughter singing chocolate banana whatever that means danny you know what i'm saying so as a parent i have a responsibility to protect my children so if i hear that's on radio even if they haven't processed it i'm going to switch off and change because i'm the authority all right as a business that means we've lost a listener they've gone right the advertiser has lost an ear of someone who they could have interested in whatever it is they're selling so a lot of things that happen within that song determine a lot of things so we're making those decisions quick quick every time in the morning uh, for the breakfast show that is HD I know you cover H1 you cover your side of things another thing uh, that I constantly do uh, is in radio we've got something called a clock okay and the clock determines where the news is coming through it determines where the ad break is coming through it determines where certain things are happening so sometimes I can play a song maybe after the news and I know at quarter past I must have an advert break and then I can see that there's a bit of a two minutes uh, gap between there on our station we not talk and as free as the other guys to go on we like to just get in there ga -ga, and get out and so we hold ourselves to that discipline but at the same time uh the reason why i'm saying this is in those instances well captain awesome would have given me a playlist because he makes the playlist by the way we don't just wake up and say you know this is what i'm playing he actually generates playlists i get there in the morning sometimes we get along on what is there sometimes i sneak in a couple of my favorites that are you know what i mean well most of the time you know what i'm saying but 99 percent he he would have done that because he's got a formula which he's going to explain that he works with so why i was explaining this is something is happening i see this at two minutes games uh the uh, instances and there's quite a lot of these instances where I've actually selected a song to play closer to the news based upon the duration of the song uh, number one that's you know in those areas you're forced because a lot of things is happening you need to cover this you've got two minutes all the songs are five six seven minutes before you get to the chorus this one gets the job two minutes 30 seconds it's done so you find those songs for me are some of my favorites they're always on standby because they are feelers you know parts if they're happening which i trust captain also would have selected the right song they get that play most of the time number two uh i think about beyond just knowing which station you're going to go to whether you're playing survey or urban or top 40 it is also important for musicians to maybe know the kind of target uh uh, uh audiences or vibe that they want on radio we get a lot of cds at the moment if we go to the zfm and i'm sure with you h1 is the same there's a room which we can open for you and there are cds from here to the you know they have been just accumulating we sit down every two weeks we listen to some of this music and try and file it uh with a committee of about eight ten people yes uh different people sometimes we listen to music and everyone decides is it a hit do we playlist it do we throw it away do we put it on the side and consider it for another time so we have to make those decisions quickly and then everyone these people that are musicians and actually i think it's important captain we've discussed this to invite some of you to those listening sessions and get your word to put in there it'll be nice to hear someone saying now nah, don't play that song just to get that vibe so uh when we have done that and the playlists are formulated the second thing is now the energy personally uh i'm trying to package a positive vibe for what I do for Zimbabwe, I see myself as a gatekeeper in terms of what I do, the breakfast show. We realize that, you know, we're living in times in Jaga Presa, everyone's got enough things on their shoulder. So we stand in as a radio station or as a breakfast show that just comes in this, hey guys, it's okay, we're gonna have a great day. So energy is important to us. Also, sometimes the uh, kind of energy goes just beyond the fast beats. It's the message. What are we saying? What are we talking about? You will get bubblegum music you know kanjiva but it's you know it's bumping kanjiva you will play that will go but we like those hits that would pick up energy 
that will make someone want to get up and do something for me personally it's one thing just playing you know but uh, i know with captain awesome we talk about this and we get that going okay so we've covered the placing the duration the energy that goes into the song the last thing that i wanted to talk about the third thing was the placing of music uh takura just walked in here he introduced him i made an effort to clap and why that is important is because we as zimbabweans we have to have an agenda to start pushing our own and that has to be intentional we have to celebrate each other when someone is doing good when the star is in the house simba tags is in because the, when these guys go out they get this recognition but amongst ourselves is like ah you know you know at it could be gun and it's okay it's good competition but until we start recognizing each other and just celebrating each other then we're going to build an industry otherwise we're going to go in circles and just carry on hating each other and uh what we have done and why i'm explaining this to you is this guys captain awesome and danny did their research and within the playlist uh, on ZFM stereo, I don't know if the other stations are doing it, but we probably one of the few stations where you will hear uh, a Simba tags or a Tammy song on my show. You might even hear it twice. And then you hear it again on the next show. And then you hear it again on the drive time. Okay. And we are doing that intentionally to push hit tracks from people that are producing good hits to make sure that, you know, we play them as much as we can to create celebrities, to create value, also to push just the Zimbabwe music aspect. It's not everyone that kind of gets that kind of recognition, but sometimes we like that hit when the music is good. We make sure we play it. We play it as much as we can uh, all the time. Okay. Also, lastly, is uh, why we do that. Uh, I mentioned about 15 minutes songs and stuff is we're living in a time and age where there is, what do they call it, disruptive society, right? We're sitting here, I'm sure there's two, at least, it's, I'm glad to see a lot, a, a lot of people looking up, but Clemens there is on his, uh, you know, looking at his photos that he's just taken. Someone else could be looking on their WhatsApp, something could come up. So 15 minutes is way too long to make someone sit down and pay a con concentration to you. Within three minutes, they would have zoned out, they would have zoned out right so everything is fast paced it's short songs it's quick paced, especially on breakfast and a lot of energy that needs to go in there so having to do that it is very important as well that as musicians as much as we want to celebrate you make relationship hello make relationships with guys in radio uh, our industry maybe at some point it existed where there was spin along and grammar but the truth is with the government having pushed the 75 percent local content the local artists have stepped up but that's not enough there's a whole industry that needs to be built there's management there's arts there's card location there's uh, uh directors of photographies there's a whole lot of stuff that needs to be behind just the talents that's there uh, why i'm saying this is the cds that i was talking about in that room most of them they are just dropped at reception i don't know who the person is i've never met them and maybe i don't need to meet them but you then wonder why is it they keep playing this guy and playing this guy it's because maybe we know that guy you know what i mean and maybe when i play his song i can say something about him i'm not going to play someone i don't know is it Mamacho, some of the songs that are the cds that are dropped don't even have names duration they don't even have covers <sighs> i know people are struggling but we need to make the connection so it is also important when you have a hit and you're going to take your uh, art i'm going to wrap up now dan i'm sure i've gone over my time <laughs> uh you take your art seriously the handing over and the engagement of the clients that mix of you handing over you know back in the day they would have a music launch they'll have listening sessions where you get bananas or whatever you but you'd sit there and you'd create a whole vibe when you're driving from there you're kind of thinking about that and the music would have painted with it was a hit but certain things would have been put there for you that will make you associate with the song when you go on radio you'll be like hey man i was a, you've got a story to tell so you need stories it's also a good thing for you guys to make connection uh, with the guys in radio uh, that are doing radio because sometimes maybe dropping it or inviting might be too expensive but if you know the guy hey i want you to listen to this tell me what you think of this can it make it on radio and you know if we're all working in the creative industry i think we should be uh, having a tough skin by now to take good comments good criticism and spit the rest thank you very much when i asked tk to speak here uh he said i need two minutes tops in out but thank you for that 75 presentation <laughs>